Greetings and welcome to In-Depth, I'm DK Rostar. We are looking at NEDCO Entrepreneurship Week, new 2022, specifically their four-day virtual conference, as well as their awards. We're doing so with CEO Calvin Maurice and Managing Director of Pascal's Bakery, Melissa Pascal Percival. Now we're asking you to listen carefully. You never know when that magic aha moment can come along, uh, along your road towards becoming a successful entrepreneur. Welcome, Mr. Maurice. Welcome, Mrs. Pascal Percival. I want to start off with you, please, Mr. Maurice, about the rationale behind the, the Entrepreneurship Week. Well, first of all, DK, thank you for hosting me once again in terms of giving an idea of what we are about to do in NETCO. We, the Entrepreneurial Week, NETCO Entrepreneurial Week, is a grand celebration of 20 years of NETCO. And this is going to be an annual event, so the first of this annual event, where we seek to provide information to entrepreneurs in the areas of skill development so that they can develop um, their various businesses. So uh, for basically, we're looking at, you know, aspiring entrepreneurs, including the unemployed. We're looking at... Uh, uh, from five to six students. We are looking at female entrepreneurs. We are looking at the underserved community. Anyone who are interested, who is interested to get involved in terms of building and starting a business. So a lot of learning is going to take place because it's going to be a conference in terms of Netco Net 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 Entrepreneurial Week. We're going to start the first four days from the the 2nd of uh, August to the 5th of August, we're going to have over those four days or virtual conference, free, free, free of charge to the public. I know. I want, I, and thank you for that. I want to bring you in, please, Ms. Pascal. First of all, how important is it that NEDCO is engaging with the public like that, especially when you find there are a lot of people who have been using the word pivot, a lot of people have been making career choices, be it by choice or an aggressive push out of the nest. How was, was, it, was the significance of NEDCO engaging with the population like this at this point in time? So it is absolutely critically important for public as well as private sector and individual participation. You know, having those three layers of community is critically important, as I said before, simply because NEDCO is exposing you to four days of entrepreneurs that and also learnings that most of, in our everyday life, we will not get exposure to that, you know, unless you um, have very unique circumstances, which most of us don't. This is incredible. You mentioned aha moments. If we come prepared and with an open mind to this new brilliant acronym that we came up with, um, for those four virtual days, you can literally get insights, aha moments that can literally change your life and you know this overused word of pivot it, it can be create a pivotal moment but you have to come prepared you have to be ready and be equipped to literally seize the moment and seize the opportunity thank you so much and in terms of helping individuals prepare for those four days mr maurice can you give us a, a list or itinerary was the agenda like on each of these four days and also is it a matter of if you're in for penny, you're in for pound, or can people look and say, oh, I like this day, what they're going to be dealing with, and I want to sign up for that day specifically. What is that process like? Well, first of all, they'll have to go on our website, www.gov.ttnetco, and they can sign up for these uh, virtual uh, uh, conferences. And uh, they can come in all four days, or they can, as you say, select any one day. So the first day, day one, we are doing ideation and um, concept development. The second day would be growth and export. The third day would be digitalization 
and e-commerce, and the fourth day would be youth entrepreneurship and employability. So as you see, it's a wide range of topics, and we would hope that uh, the public and the entrepreneurs coming in will certainly engage Netpo to understand the topic area and to find out more. And uh, even after new, they can come in for business advisory based on various concepts and various development they would want us to support them with. All right. Then. I'm wondering, is, is there anything, take, take me back to 2017, Ms. Pascal Percival. Absolutely. Mentorship, um, coaching, critical business, business advisory services. You know, only when you are in the trenches, your back is against the wall. Or in my case, I was flawed, you know, not knowing. You don't know what you don't know, you know. And when you are faced with that, you really at those moments would love someone who has experienced that before who can add value, who can provide insight. Um, those, because it saves you tremendous resources. It, tr it saves you a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and capital, because time is money. Um, so this, what Nedco is offering is priceless, and the price is incredible, you know, <laughs> free. It just blows me away, like honestly, this is high value, and I really hope that the young people, the, uh, the aspirants, come out and participate because this, what you put in is what you get. You know, it, this is, a, this is a, a climb like Everest, this journey entrepreneurship. And we need all the support that we can possibly get to literally attain the results. Um, as entrepreneurs, you are for, you are creating your own blueprint. So the more you expose yourself to like-minded people, you, you attach yourself to the correct institutions. Um, it is only going to work in your favor. So I cannot say more, I, I, you know, this is incredible opportunity and I really hope you sign up because you never know what you can find every single day. Don't think you know, come with an open mind and be prepared to learn. And I want to pick up on that topic when we return from the break in terms of coming with an open mind. I want to know who are some of those ideal participants. But and like you said, I, I think all you need to pay is attention with regard to the four days because it is free of cost. But we continue this conversation about NEDCO's week of activities, NEDCO Entrepreneurship Week New 2022 when we return. Stay with us. Welcome back. We we'll resume the conversation on New 22. This is Nedco Entrepreneurship Week with the CEO of Nedco, Calvin Maurice, and the Managing Director of Pascal's Bakery, Melissa Pascal Percival. And free is not free to everyone. So, Mr. Maurice, who are some of the partners that are helping uh, create the opportunity for this virtual workshop or conference? So TK, let's start with, with home first, TT team, uh, contributing significantly in terms of our coverage, in terms of this national, the entrepreneurial week. And we also have Guardian Life. We have the Guardian Media Limited. We also have the um, Trinidad Express, First Citizen Bank, Export TT, uh, Kariri, Exim Bank, to name a few. Uh, and certainly we want to thank our corporate sponsors, uh, DK, for coming on board with us on this. And it really says something when you have a corporate Trinidad and Tobago saying, okay, well, this is something that we want to get behind. Uh, you spoke about that a little earlier, Ms. Percival Pascal, uh, Pascal Percival rather, in terms of having government private sector and these different bodies locking arms and, and saying, okay, well, this is something that we're going to be engaging in. But also I want to get your take, please, in the role of intertwining passion in your business to one, sustain you through the dark times and to possibly influence future steps. How important is that to you? Well, it's critical, right? Especially when everyone has this tendency to say, 
I really want to stop what I'm doing, quit what I'm doing and live my passion and start and be passionate about what and start a business with it. Let's be serious. We need to put a business model needs to sandwich your passion, financial modeling as well. So there is certainly a lot of know-how that goes into it, which is a very expensive endeavor or in, in terms of dollars as well as time to really understand the entrepreneurial concept to go behind literally creating a sustainable business. And I will say it again and again, Nedco is providing this opportunity um, and insights. It is a fantastic um, boot camp-like um, environment that is critical if you are serious about your craft, about your journey, about your entrepreneurial journey. And you know, you mentioned the dark times. The entrepreneurial climb is that, you know, you must be prepared mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally for this ride. This is one fast of life that if you are choosing to become an entrepreneur, it is going to test every single ounce of your being because you are the one literally writing your blueprint. Um, you are creating and forging your path and that is intense. It's every single thing under the sun and your why needs to be extremely strong. If you're going into entrepreneurship for fame, glory and for money, I'm not sure those factors are going to literally get you through the toughest times and I guarantee you you're going to be faced with your back against the wall, your face in the sand and you're going to ask why am I journeying this way? Because there are easier ways. So be, I'm going to tell you from first hand, you need to be in resonance with your highest form of why and emotionally connected to it. It needs to be, it cannot be about money. Money will come once you are serving the right market and you are addressing a migraine problem. And that is one of the concepts I'm sure will be addressed in the four day virtual conference. Because if you don't do that, if you're not solving a pain, no one is going to pay you a black cent because you will be literally useless and your service. And if we are still holding firm to the concept that we're saving the best for last, we can see why you are one of the keynote speakers on the for the final day. But and I want to give I want to and I want under under the line ministry or the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service, Mr. Maurice. It seems as though there is a little more of a overt push towards engaging youth and in look, looking at changing that mindset consciously engaging the school children how does that tie in with the theme which is create grow and thrive the thing about it is innovation at all times it's part of the business concept and there are different levels of creativity and there's creativity in the creative sector there's credit creativity in terms of a business model how are you going to uh, go forward a particular business model. So for example, the first day when we have um, Rodel Komabash, who is known as Rodi, um, we'll be looking at challenging your entrepreneurial spirit. And you all know it's the world of comedy, but it's also thematic with ideation and concept development. So yes, you have ideation and concept development, even in the creative sector. And we're going to show you different interventions. So you have creative sector, you have uh, whatever type of business you want to um, start, the concept remain the same. So though we are starting in terms of the creative sector, how he will develop his, his comedy um, um, skits and how he will uh, work in terms of making it very innovative and new and different. Uh, it's also part of the discussion. So NETCO, in our approach over the next uh, the four days of conference, is going to take you through every level. We're not only going to stay with one sector or one type of business orient orientation, but different type of business concept coming back to the same strategy in terms of moving your business forward. 
In terms of youth development and national service, decay the youth, the young, they are our future. And notwithstanding as this conference is for everyone, we would like to see a number of young persons coming on board uh, this conference. We are targeting young um, entrepreneurs. We are targeting form five and six secondary school students. Because as you say, and as, as uh, Ms. Um, Percival said, Mrs. Percival said, being in business, it's no easy road, you know? And, and hence, that's why we also have one of our themes in terms of making your gift your job. Because in the hard times, when you do not, you believe that you're so under so much pressure to really continue a business, your gift and that love of what you do will carry you through. And we want the young persons to come in and understand that they have a gift and the idea of being risk averse to throw it behind their back and go forward for their dreams. Because in the next 10 years, we want to see a number of, 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 of young entrepreneurs coming into being. And, and, and that's the idea of this week, uh, uh, DK. The NETCO Entrepreneurial Week. Cannot miss it. They cannot miss it. It's a week for those entrepreneurs. And remind me of the website and the registration process. Thank you. Okay. So therefore, the website is www.netco.gov.tt. www.netco.gov.tt. And on um, on going on to the to the website, you will see. Uh, you'll be guided step by step in terms of how to go about the registration process. So getting on the website is the major activity. And if there's one thing that you would want people to know about this, and, and it may be the fact that is you're not too young to start, Ms. Pascal Maurice, what's the one thing that you'd want to tell people about in terms of saying you need to be a part of this? Show up. You know why? Because if you don't show up, you, you miss the opportunity. I'm, I'm tired hearing persons say there is no opportunity or making up an excuse. This is an opportunity for you to show up and to literally open your mind, open your ears, be vulnerable, and the opportunities would guarantee you would surface. But we need to change our paradigm, change our mindset and do not come in with a knowing attitude. Our attitude shapes the way that we perceive every single thing in life. And when we develop a great attitude, a winning attitude, the universe provides. But when we come in not like we know it all, that also provides us a hindrance. It, it, it is a hindrance. So I say show up, be ready to learn. This is a massive opportunity. And, and the universe will provide for you assuming you are ready to receive. And we're grateful for the opportunity to speak with you, Melissa, Pascal, Percival, as well as Calvin Maurice. Looking forward to what comes out of this week as we progress along the landscape, the national landscape. And on behalf of the entire TTT News team, I'm DK Roster. This has been In Depth with me. Thank you so much for joining us.